guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you what nightlife in a bar looks like and guys this is one video you really need to sit chill and watch this video share the video if you're new on this channel i like the kind of video you watch here please consider subscribing turn on the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once we upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch our video let us get into this video while i take you to some of the most uh, some of the most incredible places you need to see at night in the city of Aba, abia state nigeria stay tuned and uh, let's keep going let's go together while i explore the craziness of our bar nightlife <laughs> So this is basically what Tony Mass looks like at night and uh, in this video I'm going to take you on a long walk to Osisioma flyover so stay tuned and walk with me while I take you along and I'm not here alone I'm here with uh, one of our content creator Solo Wise on tour so Solo Wise introduce yourself hi guys the boy Solo Wise on tour and today we are in Aba to show you how Aba really looks at night okay. so Presently now we are at Tony Mars Junction. Yeah. So stay tuned to experience more in our night life. And uh, here along this Tony Mars is one of the newly constructed hotel. I mean this is rated to be a 4.5 star hotel mm -hmm. here along Tony Mars Road. The name is actually called Non Seal. So just take a clear out and So this is what uh, Nonsil Hotel looks like at night. So one of the things we are lacking in this road is the uh, what will I say? One of the things I think that is lacking along this uh, Enugu Porta Cort Express Road is street lights. I mean, if there is actually a good amount of uh, street lights on this land, I believe this road will actually be lighting up. And guys, this place has really changed. I mean, this is the Aba you really need to see. Aba has really changed since Alex OT took over the office. You can imagine how well and how clean the road is, unlike in the past uh, eight administrations ago. A lot of things have really changed in this city, and uh, about people are really happy for having Sir Alex Shoma Oti as their governor. Keep tuned and uh, stay tuned and keep working with me. Let's keep going. Don't you to me, I 
still keep going and uh, just like I told you earlier, I'm going to take this uh, walk down to Osisioma flyover. I mean that place is uh, rated to be one of the best, most lighted. And that place is rated to be the summer flyover is rated to be one of the longest flyover you can find in southeast Nigeria. And uh, in this vlog right now, I'm going to show you how Osisiyama flyover looks like at night. So if you don't want to miss any part of this video. All you have to do is just stay tuned and uh, do well to share this video with your family and friends so they can watch with you. So we keep taking a long walk now. So guys, we are actually here at the location where we are looking for. We are actually here at the main location where we talked about. I mean, at the count of one to three, you will see the Yoshishiyama flyover. And guys, this is really very, very fancy. This is one thing you really need to see, how the correct uh, this side of our valley is like at night. I mean, it's just incredible. And here you can see that there is actually an ongoing construction. That is the, the caterpillar over there. I think they are constructing a gutter, something like a tunnel along this lane. Finally, we have arrived at the Osisioma flyover. This is very, very good. This is actually one project that took a lot of years to be completed. If I'm being more honest with you, this flyover was built with eight good years. I mean, this was once one of the most uh, arguably projects to be completed in uh, Aba, Abia State, Nigeria. But today we can see how useful it has been. Meanwhile, it actually took a long time, but yes, it was still delivered. This place looks like London. This side of Baba looks like London, guys. I haven't seen uh, anywhere in Southeast that is as more lively as this place at night. A typical view of how the OKZ 
Uh, okay. Sorry. Okay, that's a typical view of how the Okezuo Abia flyover is looking like. When I say that this flyover is the longest flyover in Southeast, you don't have any reason to doubt me because of how lengthy it is and how decorated it has been. I mean, imagine a flyover taking up to eight years to be developed and yet they build this standard one. Abia State is really something else. The more thing you need to see how far. The more thing you need to see is uh, the glance of how this flyover was built. I mean, just check the weight and uh, the deco, the paint and everything. So this is just it. Do well to tell me how you see the new look of our bar at night and please don't forget to share this video, like and subscribe to this channel for more.